thanks for joining us on today's video. Not often I start inside, but when you get a car that, uh, that was originally featured in a, in a Meguiar's ad and the detail and effort that's gone into it, you like to start in here where you might enjoy the car yourself. Of course, when you walk out to your garage, you're gonna see the outside of it, but you're gonna spend most of your time in here. And uh, what I love so much about these is you can pick and choose the height that you want the vehicle to raise. And there's a couple options that you can add as well, meaning keychain remote, raising the car, lowering the car, things like that. Uh, I don't know, that's just, I just think air ride is just so cool. And once you get to the place where, uh, you know, you want to get it to the look of how you doing, that my friend is where we are today. How you doing? All right, so let's take a peek at some of the things on this car. First off, let's look at the body. Forget everything else. Forget the exotic drivetrain. Forget the fact this car drives so nice. The suspension modified. The interior has got all kinds. Look at the body. The hours spent lining up panels, making sure that the doors fit nicely and the mirror finish paint. I know I talk about mirror finish paint all the time, but this right here is like, wow, it is spectacular. 1,100 miles since its restoration, and uh, it looks just as good today as it did back then. Let's start with the quality of the paint. This cowl hood, I think, is tasteful. I don't love a cowl hood that sticks up like this. This is nice because you couldn't get this hood there, so it makes it custom as well. So people see this car and go, that doesn't look normal on this car. Normally you get the vented hood on here. So that's the first start. The big brakes and the wheels shining through those, right? So as you can see that, little, little hints, I should say. It's not super loud and in your face, although it goes fast. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a velvet hammer, and I kind of almost would like to rename it that, the velvet hammer. Let's just check out the, the quality of the paint and see what that looks like. All right, so this is a new arrival, and we're going to go and open the hood, and I want to show you some things. I don't think the engine compartment is representative of the rest of the car, right? So this is a 6-liter aluminum, right? It's all aluminum motor which first off shaved a ton of weight off these cars. This has the overdrive automatic in it, which is just when you cruise in this, the car can go all day long, right? So uh, let's look at this for a second. You have exposed coils and things like that. In my opinion, that's ugly, right? So we are getting ready to uh, dress this up. And if you wanted to, you could have a hand in that. We have an Optima battery for it that goes right here, but you could have a hand in finishing up the design of that. We'll finish polishing up the radiator here as well. And when you open the hood and go to a car show, you'll be really, really proud of there fuel injection it doesn't care whether it's cold outside or hot outside you hit the key it fires right up and you don't have to deal with a lot of the other things that's why these drivetrains General Motors spent a billion dollars putting the LS series drivetrain together I'm sure that Flemings has no idea how to make that even better so I think that we're gonna stick with tried and true because it's reliable and it's fast all right let's take a peek in here because a lot of effort is put into this but I wanted you to hear it first because the effort starts here listen to that this is a 1960s vintage convertible trunk that never sounded like that back then. And the effort that's gone into it is just amazing. All right, so the trunk, beautifully finished, right? A lot of stuff maybe you haven't seen in here. Alpine amps, uh, the MTX audio system that's part of the whole package of owning this car, right? You gotta have cool tunes while you're driving around a cool car. The trunk light works. You say, well, Tone, it's an expensive car. The trunk light should work. You know, we got lots of expensive cars. And most of the time, nine times out of 10, the trunk light doesn't work. It probably didn't work in 1968, a year after this car, right? But this one here, just a little stuff like that because you can see it has all brand new wiring as well. This has the Ride Tech suspension, right? So the Air Ride. Uh, and you can pick and choose the heights that you want, right? You don't have to have it all the way up or all the way down. You can have it uh, at different levels depending on what you want, right? Compressors back here come with a nice size tank. And the tank is designed so that you don't have to wait for the compressor to pump up the whole suspension. The tank fills, then you have enough air to go ahead and raise it, and while it's pumping up the rest of the tank, you're ready to roll on out. All right, come join me inside here. I turned the car on for a second so you could hear. A lot of times you'll hear air ride suspensions are really, really loud. This is running and filling the tank right now, and you can hardly hear it, all right? This is kind of set up for uh, just for display at the moment. You would program that to be static, right? I just like to show this. Look how nice the windows work stuff works like it's supposed to man this is nice too little tilt wheel here full gauges on the dash the dash gauges are awesome and this is gps based gauges as well let me tell you what that means in case you don't know what that means most people know what gps is but typically you would go ahead and you would get the speed based on uh some parameters that the car thinks is happening the speedo gear and the transmission stuff like that this eliminates the false 
uh, problems that you might expect by getting a GPS signal from above that will then tell us what our speed is, which I think is a lot more accurate that way. We've got a cool, original, old school style uh, uh, console here with the upgraded sh uh, shifter pattern so because it's an overdrive automatic you know these cars originally came with a two-speed automatic this is a four-speed automatic and uh, they went ahead and they modified that to do it got the cool factory clock there it's just really nice throwback between but little stuff like custom door panels maybe you didn't notice that at, at first but the door panels are all custom made in the car these seat covers even though they look semi uh, stock have way more support way more feel and way more comfort Custom carpets, custom mats with the binding and things like that. Molded in speakers inside the kick panels down there. I'm just pointing out a lot of these little things on the car that gives you an idea of why some cars are much nicer than other cars. All right, so let's close up this video. This car, first off, is black at night, blue during the day because there's a metallic hidden in it, right? Very expensive paint. And it's so cool to have a car that can be two different colors at the same time. All aluminum drivetrain, right? The transmission's aluminum too. The custom interior, the body parts, the air ride, the wheels and tires. We didn't even talk about the giant brakes that are on the car all the way around here. I don't know, man. It's, when I think about it, I think how cool it is to go to dinner in a car like this and pull up out front and the valet pulls it over, hits the remote on your keychain, and the car lowers to the ground like everybody else's Porsche or Ferrari or whatever gets pushed around the side. And that's, we are parking your car right out front. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this incredible Chevelle. Uh, Pro Touring convertible, right? And then uh, don't forget, if you don't mind, share this with your friends. And if you could like it, that'd be an awesome feature too. And if you would, and you could subscribe to our channel, that would be great. You have a lot of people in there acting. And I'd love to hear a little story about uh, maybe you rode in one of these, maybe your family had one when it was new, uh, and some of the comments about uh, just how cool everything is. And we're getting ready to go for a test drive, and that's the best part.